Happy Halloween, everybody. What is good? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another horror action figure set up for you guys, and today, we are in My Damn Kitchen. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new horror action figure set up, and I brought it to the kitchen. My brother wanted me to do a kitchen setup for a while now, and we got the whole kitchen set up, man. We got the countertop all covered. We got a lot of ish to get through. This was a lot of fun to set up, but a, but a lot of stuff, man. We got a lot of things going on in our kitchen here today, guys, but what we're going to do is first off, say happy Halloween to everybody, because today it is Halloween. At the time of recording, it is Halloween morning or afternoon or whatever the hell you want to say. So happy Halloween to everybody out there. I hope you have a happy and safe safe Halloween out there, but let's go ahead and dive into the setup, guys. I want to start, I guess we can start on this side of our kitchen. We're going to start, start on this side, and we're just going to work our way all the way around until we get to the finish and show you the special surprise ending. And at the end, we are going to do some of these table spots and ladder spots that we got set up all around the kitchen. So I guess we start off over here in the corner, guys. So what we have right here is we have Pennywise laid out on the table. You guys can see the pole going through his skull. You got Stone Cold Steve Austin yelling in his face, stabbing him through the skull with the pole right there. And not only that, you'll see he's laid out on the table. Table, right but if you ascend the fridge you have the fridge right here if you ascend the fridge up to the tip top you will see demon king of finn balor on top of the refrigerator about to plummet down with a, the largest coup de gras you've ever seen in your entire life down onto pennywise and again at the end remember to stay to the very end because we're going to hit all of these spots we're going to hit this one and the many more that we got set up in the setup so do not forget to stay to the end so we can see all of these things take place and we'll probably do a slow-mo video for every single one of them so let's go on to the setup guys we have this massive jason right here in a real knife fight it's a real knife he's holding a real knife not gonna bs with you guys a few times he fell over and i had to catch the knife and i thought he was gonna actually stab me on halloween jason figure stabbing me I, th I thought that was real but right here guys you will see hbk you got the heartbreak kid about to well he's got his own knife right he's got his own knife and we have sort of a knife duel right here don't know how well it's gonna go for hbk considering the size difference i mean if you poked him in the knee i mean he's just gonna i mean he's way stronger he's way bigger He's got a bigger knife. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but HBK is holding his own for now. Who knows what's going to come of that? We also have a random Jason mask right there. Don't know what I like about that. Let's, let's go ahead and get that before we lose it. But we come forward a little bit, guys. We are on the stovetop. Now, we have the brand new MDT Battle Royal and Horror Champion Jason Voorhees right here. He won the Battle Royal from the other day. Definitely go check out that video if you guys missed it. I know I just spoiled it, but it's still a really fun Battle Royal that I think you guys will get into. But we have Mr. Money in the Bank Miz. You guys can see his Money in the Bank contract floating around in the pot. Now, one thing I wanted to do is I actually wanted to turn on the boiling water, but I've tried it twice now, and one time I almost, I literally melted the foot of this Jason figure, so I know some people are going to be upset about that one. So the foot of the Jason actually did melt because I turned on the stovetop trying to get the water to boil and then having him stick his, you know, stick Mez's head in there for him to drown and it, like, be bubbling. So you can just imagine it bubbling, and I did my very best to do so, but it literally melted the foot of the Jason. We had a lot of issues trying to get that done, so I... I apologize for that. But just know it's boiling hot water. He's he's melting the Miz's face off. So there's Jason melting Miz's face off right there. I like that part a lot. Probably one of my favorite parts of the setup right here. Coming forward a little bit, guys, you gotta have my boy Kevin Owens in the in the setup, and he's gotta hit the stunner on top of the stovetop. The reason he's hitting this Mezco Halloween Michael Myers with the Stone Cold Stunner, the only reason that is is because we're Team NECA. We, we like NECA figures over Team Mezco. You guys can let me know down below if you guys are Team Mezco or Team NECA. But we are Team NECA over here, so we, we have the stunner right there, KO, hitting the stunner on Michael Myers. I thought that was pretty nice, so I wanted to have a Stone Cold Stunner. Over here, we even the odds, though, right? I mean, we're, we're Team NECA over here, but we have part two of Michael Myers right here getting uh, getting his comeuppance because a pedigree on the stovetop. I wish it could be turned on, but it would obviously burn the figures and melt up and ruin my figures, so we don't have it on, but you guys can imagine a pedigree onto the stovetop. Not a very good spot right there. Definitely would do some damage to Michael Myers, so he's getting you got the neck of Michael Myers taking the pedigree on the stovetop, and then you have the stunner taking place over here. So, I mean, you could argue we're Team NECA, but the NECA figure got the worst end of it. So that is our stovetop setup right there. We got that part of the setup completed. If we move over right here, guys, you will see this massive Big Daddy figure from Bioshock. He got Little Sister on his back over here, and he uh, he went for the drill on the Big Show and AJ Styles right here. You guys can see the Fruity Pebbles spilling out because he accidentally hit the, the Fruity Pebbles cereal, man, not the damn cereal. That cereal had a family, damn it.
damn it. So the uh, you guys can see the drill going through the middle of the cereal box, and the drill has went through. It's spilled Fruity Pebbles everywhere, and the Fruity Pebbles box got stabbed, and it's just terrible. Now my Fruity Pebbles are ruined. I appreciate that. So leave a like down below and comment something, not only for a future shout-out, but RIP to the Fruity Pebbles box. Now I gotta go buy more Fruity Pebbles. Gosh darn, ball. So RIP to my Fruity Pebbles. Over here to the right, guys, you will see Michael Myers. Now this is what's funny, is at first I just had him kicking Jimmy Uso or Jay Uso. I can't remember which one it was. The older figures always confuse me. I know what the modern figures are, but the, the older ones confuse me. This Michael Myers was doing a Spartan kick to Jimmy Uso, but he fell in the middle of setting everything up because he was going to be Spartan kicking him off of the countertop into the dog bowl, but he ended up falling anyway, so I guess you could say that he actually did Spartan kick him off the counter on into the dog bowl. You can see Jimmy Uso or Jay Uso plummeted there, so that's uh, that's unfortunate. So the Uso's not go doing good on WWE television and not doing good in the setups, man. He plummeted all the way off the countertop, and Michael Myers Spartan kicked his ass off. So that does it for this portion of the setup, guys. That's our whole left side. If we come to the middle counter here, we got a ton more setup going, so let's get into it. Right here, we have Brett the Hitman Hart getting slammed into the drawer by Jason Voorhees. Now, I like this a lot. The only thing I don't like is it's kind of hard. Like, I, I don't even know how you would even shut the drawer. Like, if you were to throw Brett in there and then slam it, I really don't even know how that would be possible, but I thought it looked cool, so I went with it. We come back a little bit, guys. We have Tiffany and Chucky going right at X-Pac. x, -Pac. x -Pac scared right there. He's got his tongue out. Probably about to get the thing cut out right there, but Chucky and Tiffany going right at X-Pac, so x -Pac scared to death right there. We have a random pile of weapons. I really don't know why that's there, but you, you can just ignore that. Got the pile of weapons. Nice little saw over here. Don't pay attention to it. Go a little bit behind, guys, and we do have Pennywise and we have Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn caught between two people here. So you have Sami Zayn and he is caught between Pennywise over there and then you got Pinhead over here. Who are you calling Pinhead? So there is Sami Zayn stuck in uh, between a rock and a hard place. I don't know what the hell he's supposed to do here, guys. Which way would you run? Would you rather run to Pinhead or would you rather run to Pennywise? I honestly think if I was strategically trying to get out of this, if I were Sami Zayn, I would sprint right at Pennywise, try to spear him off the counter, hopefully land on the ground and land on, on Pennywise, killing him and me getting away. That's the only thing I, that I can think of logically. So coming back a little bit, guys, in the setup, we come back here. You guys will see the head of Jason Voorhees cut off, mask laying here, and that is because Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar have taken out the large Jason Voorhees. So the, the giant Jason Voorhees has been tackled to the ground. Brock Lesnar has him assessed right there. Braun Strowman dropped the large axe on his head, cutting his head off right there. So using it sort of like a guillotine here on the edge of the counter. But if you guys will look, you have multiple Jasons coming for him. So you have this Jason here, this Jason here, and this Jason back here all coming for Braun and Brock. So their problems have only just begun, but they did take care of the giant Jason. So maybe if they can take out a giant Jason, maybe they can take out the other three. I guess we'll have to see. Not only do we have this portion on the back counter, guys, but we also have Randy Orton hitting part five Roy Jason with an RKO off the top of the counter through the table here, or possibly through the table. We'll have to see about that again. Stay to the end of the video. We're going to lance Randy Orton off the counter with this RKO and see if we can put Roy through this table. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. That is going to be epic sauce right there. But I like that mid-action, like mid-air shot for Randy Orton coming off the top with the RKO. Had to put that in the setup. That is not the only thing that we have in the back portion of the setup, guys. You will see this gigantic ladder. And off this gigantic ladder is Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero coming off the tall ladder off the top of the countertop onto Pennywise that is set up on this table and Pennywise is just laughing and pointing at him so we will see if Eddie can land this frog splash off the top of the ladder onto Pennywise so stay tuned again to the end we're going to hit all these spots off the counter off the table off the fridge we're going to hit all of them so stay tuned down here guys we do have part three Jason trying to shoot Eddie Guerrero off of the top with the harpoon gun so I don't know man Jason's got pretty good aim right there so we'll see if he can evade the shot jump over the shot maybe and land on Pennywise later on coming to the front guys we do have Goldberg screaming his head off because Freddy Krueger is in his face. You do have some Freddy dogs right here, some nightmare dogs in his face as well. So Goldberg not looking too good in shape right there, but we do have Freddy Krueger featured in the setup getting his in there. But we come to the side a little bit. We do have this remake Jason coming to the rescue of the Mezco Jason. So not only the Mezco Michael Myers getting some work in, but Mezco Jason getting work in because he got choke slammed through this table by Kane. Brand new Survivor Series Kane Elite right there slamming Mezco Jason 
through the table right there, and the remake Jason is coming to save him. So we'll see how that goes for Kane. Should be a nice little battle. Come up a little bit, guys, to the toaster. Now, this is another one of my favorite parts of the setup. So if you guys will see the face of Pennywise, it looks like it's burning, right? Like this one side of his face looks like it's burning, and that's because you got the toaster on right there. So Seth Rollins is trying to curb stomp Pennywise's face inside the toaster, trying to burn him up, and I, I like that a lot because the shock and on the face, you got the half the face melting off a little bit, and Seth Rollins screaming, trying to, like, take care of Pennywise with the curb stomp into the toaster. I like that a lot. So that is uh, another one of my favorite parts of the setup today. Coming forward a little bit, guys, we have these random Jason figures, these large Jason figures trying to take out Matt, Hardy, and Eric. And you're probably like, well, where the hell is Jeff Hardy? Don't worry about it, Brad. If you come up a little bit, you will see Jeff Hardy about to come off the top to help his brother Matt out. So uh, if we zoom out a little bit, you guys will see what we got going on here. Jeff Hardy coming off the top of the bottle cleaner. This is a baby bottle cleaner about to jump off the top take out these Jason figures and save Matt Hardy and Eric from the Viking Raiders or the Viking Experience or the War Raider, whatever the hell you want to call them. Jeff Hardy coming to the rescue. So if we do that, guys, we'll come to the middle here and you guys will see that we have a character down in the garbage disposal. So these two Jasons have teamed together here today to take out, I, ha I have Slapjack. This is Slapjack from Retribution from WWE and uh, they don't like the way Slapjack's been wearing a mask that kind of resembles a Jason mask. They're like, hey, bro, we're the one, the we, we wear the Jason mask around here, even though this is the remake with the bag on the head. He says, no, bro, you, you don't get to wear the mask. So they have put him down in the garbage disposal, and uh, that's not going to turn out too well for Slapjack. He is getting killed right there by the garbage disposal. So those two Jasons have teamed up right there. I don't know why the hell that ladder's there, but maybe we can put somebody through that. Coming right here, guys, another one of my favorite parts of the setup. You guys will see we have the brand new Ultimate Edition Rock figure, and you guys can see he is screaming in agony because this giant Jason from Part 7 is choking him out and about to bring the machine to the face of this rock figure. So I think that expression perfectly suits the moment right there. So this Jason is about to destroy the rock, and uh, I, I felt like that was a pretty good usage of the uh, of that expression that came with the Ultimate Edition rock right there. We reviewed that figure yesterday. Definitely go check out that review if you're interested. Very fun review, very fun figure, and uh, I put it to good use today in the setup. Coming up on the windowsill, guys, we do have Part 2 Jason, and Part 2 Jason is getting choked out by Undertaker. So Undertaker's like, nah, Brad. Oh, well, then I guess that works out. What we can do later on in the setup is we can take this Jason and have him get choke slammed by the Undertaker off of the window seal through the ladder. So we will do that. That is something we will do later on. So stay tuned for that one. Oh yeah, now I'm excited, Brad. I think that's going to be epic. I, I don't even remember setting it up that way, but apparently I knew what the hell I was doing. So that is it for the sink. If we come forward, guys, this is the end of the setup. Not the very end, but we're coming up on the end here. You will see Leatherface and Freddy Krueger. Leatherface swinging the chainsaw trying to go after Big E right here, but he does miss and he clips off the hand of Freddy Krueger. So Freddy's hand goes flying, the blood splatter goes everywhere, and Leatherface has accidentally chainsawed off Freddy's gloved hand. He's looking at him like, what the hell are you doing, Brad? And Big E's just screaming because he's like, get me the hell out of here. So there, there's our part right there. Coming forward a little bit, guys, we're on to the turtle tank, and we do have Jason slamming Conor McGregor's skull into the turtle tank, probably putting some cracks in that. Down here we have a Claymore by Drew McIntyre. So a huge Claymore has clipped off Chucky's head, and it went flying across the kitchen. So a Claymore more by the former WWE champion sending Chucky's head sculpt all the way across the table or the countertop right there. I like that. I wanted to feature that. I figured that he could kick it hard enough to fly off, so Drew McIntyre getting a nice Claymore in. Coming forward a little bit, we do have another Jason on a table, so here's another spot we'll have to do in the video, but we have Ricochet coming off the top of the ladder onto Jason Voorhees, so you love to see that. We'll definitely get that in as well. And then finishing it up, if we're not talking about the part six that is down inside the turtle tank, I didn't have the water deep enough for him to stand up, so I do have him him down on his knees, so I'm sure my turtle's freaking the hell out, like what in the hell, why the hell is this Jason figure inside my turtle tank, but if you can see Squirt right there, she's chilling on top of this tiki head. For some reason, what she loves to do is she'll climb up on her platform that's in the back, you can't really see it because it's kind of foggy, but she'll climb up on the platform and then she'll crawl over on top of this tiki head and get a little sunbathing in, so she's probably like, why the hell is this figure in here? You're bothering me on my Saturday morning? Get the hell out of here. So I'm sure Squirt uh, is feeling that, you can see her right there. So she She'll climb up on that platform and then crawl over on this tiki head and get a little sunbathing going on. 
But besides Ricochet jumping off the ladder onto Jason, guys, we also have the ending right here. Well, not the ending, the second to last. We have one more special moment at the end, but Michael Myers is choking Kurt Angle with his own gold medals off the side of the countertop. So I thought that was also a really good part of the setup. He's holding on to the medals, choking out Kurt Angle, and Kurt Angle just kind of squirming and kicking everywhere. And Jesus Lord, man, I, I feel like I feel like maybe the medals would break, you know, like the, the, the cloth or whatever that holds the metal together around your neck. I feel like the stitching would probably break, but here in the setup, Brad, it ain't going nowhere. So Michael Myers is choking out Kurt Angle, and then the last part, before we get into the spots, guys, we gotta show off the best part of the setup, and that would be if we come down here to the trash can, what do you guys see? What do you see? None other than Trash King Corbin hanging on, going down into the trash can. You hate to see it for Trash Corbin here on Halloween, but it had to be done, Brad. See you later, trash. Honestly, it probably should have put him in the garbage disposal, but I wanted Slapjack to get his comeuppance, and I figured the trash was, good, was the best place for Trash Corbin. But anyways, guys, it is time to get into our spots here. So let's go ahead and get into our spots before we get the hell out of here and finish off our setup. Now, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to film this, but I'm going to do my best. Well, Finn Balor coming off the top of the fridge like you could have drawn through the table to Pennywise. Oh! Sealed part two, Jason getting chokes like my Undertaker off the top through the ladder, and he takes out the rest of the Jasons. Oh my god, Brad, look on the window, sealed Jason getting chokes like my Undertaker off the top through the ladder. Oh, we're not done, Brad. One last spot for the night. We got Ricochet coming off the top of the ladder onto Jason Voorhees. Ricochet coming off the top of the ladder onto Jason Voorhees. But that is pretty much going to do it for the Halloween setup, guys. I hope you guys had a ton of fun watching the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you're dressing up as for Halloween down below. What are you doing for Halloween? I would love to know. What's your favorite candy? Have fun. Celebrate with your family and friends. I hope you guys have a blessed night. Thank you for watching the setup. Comment down below for a potential shout-out in a future video. I want to give a huge shout-out to Jacob Myers for this comment on our last video. I thought this was hilarious. He says, if you smell these farts in a bag. That is genius, Brad. You love to see it. If you smell these farts in a bag. But thank you guys for watching the setup. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below for a potential shout out and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.